hello and welcome to another OpenShift tutorial in this video I would like to show you how to enable OpenShift audit logging and then collect all the audit logs into a Kibana cluster in this setup I have logging enabled on my machine it's currently doing some deployments on logging but the actual code example is documented here on this github rbos slash openshift examples and then efk audit log uh, this is some this is done by someone else not me and then if we look at the process uh, the process is pretty simple all you need to do is edit the master config yaml and then look for the section called audit config and then add the audit file location where you want to capture all the audit logs and then make this flag as true so that OpenShift will understand to collect all the audit logs there are few few more parameters but these are two important ones and then once you have changed this you need to restart your master so it will the changes are picked up and then the next step you need to edit the clue and the configuration map to add additional uh, configurations to basically also take care of audit logs uh, into the Kibana uh, or the EFK stack so this will collect all the logs but if you want to see in the EFK stack then you need to edit this clue and the config map uh, file so let's take a look at that our logging is up and running so if I click on this it shows logging screen All right so this doesn't have any audit logs by default these are only operational logs which are basically parts of containers uh, you don't see any audit logs in here so let's make those changes and then come back and take a look at our Kibana interface so I need to edit the master config YAML in this specific implementation I have my file at, at this location but it might differ for your OpenShift cluster generally it is available in etc origin master and then look for audit config generally this is disabled by default so I'm going to enable it and then give the audit file location so I'm going to give this this location should be anywhere on the OpenShift master host so I'm just collecting it in var log audit OCP dot log and then save this in my case in your case it might be just restarting the OpenShift master service if it is a non HA cluster it will be systemctl restart atomic OpenShift master if you are using a HA cluster then it will be master dash API on each master node so if you are using a cluster of masters then you need to change on every no every master but in my case I'm running it as uh, OC cluster up so I'm just gonna take the cluster down and then bring it back again so this change will take effect I'm just going to use this short command to bring it back again so the key thing here is it says use config existing config so whatever configuration change I've done is taken effect on the on the cluster that I'm going to spin up now so the cluster is back up if I go back to my OpenShift web console I can see my I logged in then the next step after we mention after we configured the audit log file is to edit the fluent configure uh, config map and then add additional parameters so we need to edit logging fluent in the fluent in logging namespace so I'm already in logging namespace 
if I go to resources, config maps, and then logging fluent and deconfig map, click on actions and edit. So in this section, you need to add additional flag to let uh, Fluentd know about our new audit log configuration file and then add additional key into the configuration map which is basically this file input audit log.conf so the key name is nothing but the file name and the value for that key is the actual content of this file okay and then save this so your your configuration map is now updated, but Fluent D demons that are running on your nodes did not pick up the newer configurations that you have applied. One simple way is to restart every Fluent D part and then it will automatically pick up. Or the other way is to kill all of those Fluent D uh, parts on the node just by using this flag. If you are running in production, I would not do that. Um, the simple way is just go to each individual Fluentd part and then uh, kill it. Okay, so that will pick pick the newer configurations which I've applied. So this the cluster has only one machine, so you only have one Fluentd. Uh, if you have a huge cluster, then you will see a lot of Fluentd parts uh, that you need to restart. Like I said, you can do it individually one by one or just do all of them at once using this command. Now you can see my Fluentd is back up again, up and running. And then if I go back to my Kibana interface, uh, I did not reload yet, but you can see there are no audit log logs here. And if I do a refresh command R, now if you come back to the Kibana and then look at options here, you can clearly see there are audit logs. Since we have deployed an application called Node.js welcome in project my project here. So this is the application which I deployed. Let's see for the user that is Chakra has any audit log related to Node.js application. So what I'm going to do is select audit log user, audit log URI, and then method and the namespace where the activity is done. So I want to filter a few things out. So I'm going to use this command here. So the namespace is my project like I've shown here. And the user is chakra and I want to see all the put put options or maybe post options so you can see all the audit related to user called chakra in the namespace my project and all the uh, post rest calls that I have done so this clearly shows that I have done some activity and then all the activity is captured here and if you want to look at all the activity in this namespace, you can see that here. All right. That's all I've, uh, I have as of now. If you have more questions, uh, just tweet me here on this link. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.